Hey guys, it's WT here from the Corn Alley, and it is Wednesday, December 26. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. Um, whether you celebrate Christmas or Kwanzaa or, or you know, or Hanukkah or any other of those other holidays, I hope everyone had a, a great holiday with family and you're feeling refreshed and probably not as stressed. I know when I'm when I'm uh, going into the holidays, I tend to get a little bit stressed because of there's there's so much going on. But uh, finally, you know, the holidays is behind us. We have 2019 that we can definitely look ahead to, and I'm sure a lot of us are going to you know have a lot of these great um, resolutions. You know, uh, my resolution is just to be the better me. Uh, better than the year prior. So, you know, at least I can hold myself accountable to that. Um, so today's update, I just want to talk to you guys about Trezor. As you know, I own a Trezor and I try to bring you guys Trezor news uh, as soon as it becomes available. Well, I've been a little bit behind, very busy with work and with the holiday. Um, so this uh, update recently occurred back in the, on the 4th of December. And as you know, um, Trezor is probably one of the last hardware wallet that actually um, supported Ethereum and Ethereum Classic outside of the actual wallet itself. So I was really excited to see this update that you can now view your Ethereum, your Ethereum Classic, and of course your ERC20 tokens. They're all available within the Trezor beta wallet. So it says here, we are incredibly proud to announce that we now offer a native interface for Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and ERC20 tokens in the beta version of Trezor Wallet. And it's at beta-wallet.trezor.io. Although these cryptocurrencies have been supported by Trezor for a long time, they are available only, well, they were only available via third-party integrations such as my ether wallet my cryptos and metamask for the fans of these services do not worry the integrations still work and we have no plans to change it additionally we have added coin switch as a new partner in our exchange so i'm going to run through this briefly and how it all works and i'll give you guys a little uh, run through i'll show you how it works um, my Ether wallet, and then I'll show you what it looks like in um, the Trezor wallet, of course. So it's quite simple, really, thanks to our trademark premium user interface. Your Ethers are just a click, a few clicks away. Select Ethereum or Ethereum Classic in the currency selector located in the top left hand corner and proceed by clicking on Go to Trezor Ethereum wallet. Then you can start using the new interface right away. So this is what it looks like here. You can send, you can receive just like you can today inside of my crypto or my Ethereum wallet. So let's head over to my Ethereum wallet and uh, I'll show you here what it looks like once you're logged in. We're going to connect our Trezor. And my Trezor is already connected, and I'll show you exactly how we used to access that. Let me put in my password here. All right, unlock wallet. And as you can see, this is what we're used to seeing in my Ether wallet and inside of my crypto. So as you can see here, here is my Ethereum balance on this address. If I wanted to see my Ethereum Classic balance, I would have to click on this little drop down box here and select ETC. And I need to click on this again to authenticate. So much work right to switch between ethereum and ethereum classic and i'll select unlock and 
Then I believe on the Ethereum Classic, it never actually showed the balance. You have to go one step further. And here you go. I have 32 Ethereum Classic. So I had to go through all those steps just to look at my Ethereum Classic balance and my Ether balance. All right, so now within the Treasure Wallet, I'll show you how simple that is. So we'll go here and we'll select our selector. We'll start off by Ethereum. Click on Go to Trezor Ethereum Wallet. And wait for that to load. Go to Standard Wallet. And there you go. You have your Ethereum balance right within the, thre the Trezor um, native wallet without you having to go out and looking for it elsewhere. It shows the dollar price for Ethereum and how much Ethereum you're currently holding. Now to switch to Ethereum Classic, we just go to the currency selector, click on Ethereum Classic. As you recall, I have what, 32 Ethereum Classic, 32.0743 approximately. And here we go over here, 32.0473. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's all in one place. If you wanted to send your Ethereum Classic, you go here. If you want to receive it, you go here. Here's your summary. And it's very easy to swap back and forth between Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and uh, any of the other supported coins that are currently on the Trezor wallet. So I just want to show you guys quickly how easy it was to access your Ethereum and your Ethereum Classic all on the Trezor hardware wallet. So if you were, uh, I know there are a few people who were not comfortable with um, my Ethereum wallet, even though my Ethereum wallet really didn't hold your keys, especially if you had a hardware wallet, it was merely a window into um, the Ethereum or the Ethereum Classic network. So guys, I hopefully you found this information to be useful. As always, please like, comment, and all those uh, other great things. Um, looking forward to the new year. I'm hoping to you know, get back out there and try bringing you guys more videos. Um, I know I committed to about two a month, and I've certainly failed on that in December. Uh, December is a, is a tough time in my business. Um, so hopefully in the new year, I'll definitely bring you guys more videos as needed or as I find things that I feel would be of interest to you. I will certainly be um, uh, posting new videos in regards to that. All right, guys, um, have a great new year. Uh, please take care of yourself and, of course, each other.